Hey there guys, Kim here from YourChicGeek.com and I wanted to bring you this really quick tutorial to show you um, this really cool tool that I found for, um, it's called the Logo Joy. You can click below to get to the site and um, this is where I am. But anywho, this is a really, really nifty tool that lets you create different or create a logo for your business. It really takes all of the hassle out of uh, font pairing and colors and all of that kinds of stuff and um, so I just wanted to show you how you can use this to create a really gorgeous logo for your business okay so the first thing that you're gonna do once you land to the site is um, under where it says make a logo you'll be proud of enter your company name this is where you want to go to enter in your brand's name okay after you do that you want to click to get started okay now this is really cool once you get to this section of the page, it's going to ask you to pick five or more logos that you like. So I'm going to just start going through and uh, picking five that I do like. I actually do like this one. I do like this one as well. I love this logo design. I like this one. And uh, let's see here if I can find another one that I like. I like this one because I really love the kind of script um, fonts. For logos okay so I'm gonna go ahead and click continue since I've selected my five now on the next page it's gonna ask you to pick any colors that you like okay and it's gonna use these to craft your logo which is really cool so um, my logo design um, is kind of on the teal kind of greenish kind of side of the house and so I'm gonna just stick to that by selecting this color okay so now I'm gonna just click continue and then this is where it's going to ask. Alrighty, so after you enter your name, um, this is where you can add a slogan. As you can see, this is optional. Um, I'm just going to add a short little slogan here. Um, so I'll do go from unnoticed to unstoppable. All right, and so as you can see, it's saying that um, a shorter slogans look better, da 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 da. But I'm just going to add that because it is uh, kind of the uh, my slogan and my little tagline for my brand. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And then here is really neat. Um, this is where you can go and you can search for icons. So um, I'm just going to do uh, leaves. I kind of like flowers and leaves for some, I don't know, just something that I like. And um, so what you can do is you can enter in a um, enter in something that is related to the type of business that you have or, you know, whatever you kind of want to enter in um, as a icon to add to your logo. So I entered in leaves and I'm just going to kind of scroll through and see if I can find something that kind of inspires me. Right. And so uh, I really do like this one. I like this flower here. And so I'm going to go ahead and select that and then I'm going to click continue. OK, so this is the cool part. This is where the logo joy. Um, tool is going to start generating things. It's going to generate colors. It's going to generate different logo designs that I can go through and pick from to find something that I really like, right? So this is really, really cool. Okay, so this is what we have, guys. So these are some of the logo designs, and I have to say that uh, some of these are really, really cute. Um, I really do like this one and this one, but um, this is where you can go to just start looking at different designs, okay? That's one. That's pretty cute. And uh, this one is real pretty, actually, with this purple. Wow. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep scrolling through. And this is where you can kind of have fun with this, right? You just kind of go through until um, you can find something that uh, that you really, really just like, right? So something that sticks out to you. This one is really cute. Um, the only thing I do wish is, let me, let me click Edit Logo and see if I can add... Uh, the symbol. Okay, yeah, you can. So I really do like this one. Um, the colors, though, need to be a little bit different. Now, this is what I do like about this tool. So for instance, if you pick a logo design, right? So for this one, I do like this one a lot. And uh, But you pick this logo design and it really doesn't have like the colors and things like that that you like. Um, you can definitely go in here to edit and make changes to your logo. So um, for instance, I don't like the black on the background. And so what I'm going to do is um, under color picker, I'm going to select this and then I'm going to go ahead and put in my brand's color because I know my color scheme or my color offhand, right? So that is my brand's color. And uh, the next thing that I can do and that you can do as well is you can come in and start changing up some of the font colors as well. So this is pretty cool, right? So I'm going to change this font color from this color to a white. Okay. And uh, so let's see here. That's going to be, OK, 
okay right that's that and then I'm also going to change the color of the tagline here um, so I'm gonna go back to color picker and they actually have some gradients and that looks pretty cool actually so yeah so I'm gonna keep that as the goldish color for the gradient and look how cute that looks and so um, you can definitely though come in here you can change up your fonts you can increase the sizes if you want so that um, I, I increased that from like a 10.95 to like a 12 um, you can do font variations so as you can see here, oh man, this is really, really awesome. I'm super excited, right? I'm like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> so anyways, um, this is where you can go to look at different font variations for your logo. So I am a handwritten girl. I really love the handwritten look to my logos and to my um, just, you know, the handwritten look in general. But uh, these are the different sections that you can go to to look at some of the options that they have, guys. So they have sans serif. They have uh, serif designs, so these are these are what some of the serif designs look like. They have the vintage look, and so this is really really cute. I love that. That's cute too, right? So then they have the handwritten. This is my favorite, and uh, let's see what they have here under the handwritten. Oh my gosh, these are like these look really really good. Okay, so these are some of the handwritten fonts, and again, this is my favorite. This is the one that I have right now. Or maybe I can update to this. I'm going to update to this. Okay, cool. I think that was the same thing. But um, anyway, so fun variation. So they have the modern. And you can just kind of keep going. They have slab. They have funky. Um, calligraphic. So this is really cute. Bubbly. So all of these different types of font variations are in here for you to kind of select and just find something that, again, really speaks to you and speaks to your brand. And um, they also have color. So you can go over to the colors tab. And if you want to start changing around some of the colors, this is where you can do that. OK. All right. But I am good with this logo. I really do love this. I think it looks, you know, really, really great. I love the, the you know, it's, these are my branded colors. And so I'm good with this. So once you are finished with your logo's design, you're happy with it. Oh, actually, I wanted to do one last thing. Um, I did want to add a symbol. OK, so I want to close. I'm going to go to add a symbol. And um, let's see here. So let's see. Leaves. I'm going to go back to leaves and oh wow this is cool <laughs> guys I'm having so much fun with this this thing is awesome okay so this is what the logos look like with the leaves added to my uh, my logo right so they have this one here which is actually pretty um, it's really pretty and uh, this one here and um, yeah, so this is where you can come through to go and just kind of look at the different logo designs and again, just find something that you really, really like. Um, as you can see, guys, I can get lost all day in this thing <laughs> because this is really fun and it does make a logo design super duper easy. So let's see. I don't know if they have any eyeglasses. I'm like the your chic geek, right? So um, haha, that's pretty cool. So I would probably do something like this for your chic geek. This is kind of what I would uh, go go with, right, <laughs> for my brand. But anywho, again, as you can see, you can have a lot of fun with this. Um, and uh, yeah, this this looks pretty pretty good. So I'm gonna go back to the leaves and just look at some of the logo designs. I actually really do like this one, and so I'm gonna go ahead and click update to this, and uh, I'm gonna change the color of this. So let's see colors. And actually, no, I can keep this like this. This is fine. Okay, so yeah, this is what I have. So again, once you're once you're done and you've gone through and and everything looks good, then what you would do is just go ahead and click buy. And then this is where it's going to take you to the um, the page where you can select the package that you want to get. Um, they have three different packages here. I think for um, the designs and things like that that they have, I think that this is super affordable. You know what I mean? And um, so, yeah, from here, you can just choose your package. And I would definitely go with the premium one because you get a lot of stuff in here. And uh, yeah, so I would just choose the package and I do like the add on. So if you wanted to, you know, get some time with a consultant to kind of talk, you know, talk to talk with them about your logos design, you can do that. Or if you also want to get a social media kit, you can do that for just nine dollars. And that's pretty inexpensive. Right. So, yeah. So you can do that. 
and then you can just continue to check out okay and this is where you would complete your order but um, I just have to say that when it comes to logo design you know this tool I think is pretty phenomenal and it really makes the logo design process super easy super fun and I highly 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 recommend it so yeah this pretty much wraps up the tutorial on how to create a logo or design a logo in five minutes or less using logo joy head over check them out give it a test spin and let me know your thoughts guys so I appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this tutorial alrighty cheers